since just a little seed was planted. And how it grew with this wonderful mission was just amazing to me. So this whole idea was born of this orchard. It's brought a lot of people together that would not have met one another otherwise. These projects, I think, are extremely important. Anytime you get children or adults involved in growing their own food, it changes their life in, on so many levels. This has been a most interesting and unique experience. I know it will help the children. It will give them another understanding, an emotional, a deeper understanding. It will help the people who come and support Mission Road. I began just really enjoying planting trees everywhere that a person would let me do it. The first tree that I planted out here was in memory of Brandon Smith. He was one of the clients at Mission Road Home and he had a very good life out here. Virginia came back from Mission Road visit that day and was so excited about the olive tree. I have been involved as far as loving Mission Road all of my life. My family has been um, very interested in Mission Road since my grandfather was alive and was a friend of Mr. Bledsoe's. And the next Sunday, I went to church, and when I came out of church, I found a $100 bill under the tire of my car <laughs> in front of the church. And um, I took it in to the, to the office and turned it in. And so about a week or two went by and Phyllis, the nice lady that works at the office at the church called me and she said, no one ever came and asked about the $100, so I guess it belongs to you. So I called Virginia and I said, we have the seed money for our olive project at Mission Road. with children and adults who have intellectual and developmental disabilities and basically we are working with each of them individually to become more independent in their day-to-day -day living skills, in uh, their community. What are you listening to? Michael Johnson. Mr. Johnson? Michael Jackson! Oh, Michael Jackson. I didn't understand you. I got bad ears. Do you like Thriller? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, you do, you do. It's all focused on the individual and uh, making them just more self-sufficient. Robert, what's your favorite song? Oh, McDonald. Okay, that's a good one too. I like that. What song do you want to sing? The song. Which one? The strength song. Yeah. Love the Lord your God with all of your what? Heart, Heart soul, soul, mind. mind. And strength. There we go. <laughs> yes, Jennifer. Oh, look here. Here comes Eva. She wants to get in on action, too. We are not to forget those who are less fortunate than we are. Uh, we're to care for them and to bless them and to be a blessing for them. I get that opportunity to share God's love with them, to, to share Christ with them, to let them experience God's love and then also to share God's love with others that they meet. Dear God, we thank you for today. Be with us. Help us to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you. In your name we pray. 
Amen. I am always amused when people come to me and say, I want to put an olive orchard in because it's less work than growing uh, grapes. And I will always say, well, it is farming, and farming is a lot of work. My name is Virginia Monroe. And I'm Lou Womack. Virginia and I have been friends for a long, long time. Lou Womack loves Virginia Monroe like a mother. Look at the cactus growing up in there. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can reach around. Oh, you can't even get halfway around there, Granny. I'm sure. And Virginia had this little bit of a dream and Lou was capable of making Virginia's dream come true. We can plant it and we can water it, but only God can make it grow. I have always wanted to do sculpture. I'm Donna Dauberful and uh, I am a professional sculptor. It's been a unique experience because the people are so giving and open, like the project we're working on right now with Mission Road has been probably one of the most phenomenal experiences with people that I've had to date. Hey guys, hi. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hey, everybody. We were thinking, you know, the, the sim symbolism of the olive trees. So um, we thought, well, maybe we could do a little something, a little statue, something of the olive and the branch and all of that. And we started thinking about that. And that has now developed mm -hmm. because of Donna Dauberful and her creativity with her bronze uh, sculpting into a life-size bronze statue of two of our clients with developmental disabilities and their therapy dog, Oreo. Oreo's actually from the Austin Boxer Rescue. She would um, meet the bus in the morning with the kids, get them on the bus, meet them getting off the bus in the afternoon. They also did a lot of work with an iPad with Oreo because we, a lot of our kids are nonverbal. What I'm doing is I'm just taking Oreo's measurements a little bit and I've, if I can get her head length, which I already have, and I was just checking her width to that, is I can use her head length to give me the proportions of all the rest of her body. Well, one of the most exciting things, and someone else who's gotten to know Mission Road, is Sandy Winokur, who has an olive orchard. And so Virginia, when she said, let's do an olive orchard, she knew exactly where to get those olives. And Sandy Winokur is giving us a wonderful price on the olive trees and then she's going to buy back all of our olives and make her products and credit Mission Road on those products as a contributor. My name is David Rowley. I'm the Director of Maintenance at Mission Road Developmental Center. The number of olive trees we're planting, 250 trees, is, is huge. We're thinking about this area right here for the garden that we're going to have. And then in the center, there's going to be a sculpture of Oreo and two of the children that, that live here. I'm Sandy Winnaker. I own Sandy Oaks Olive Orchard, which is one of the first olive orchards in Texas. When you think about the olive tree, I've always thought of it as a blessed tree. Uh, it gives us the fruit. The fruit gives us oil. The leaves have great value, economic value as well, because the leaves give you a tea, which gives you twice the antioxidants of green tea. This is what the olive tree has given generation after generation, century after century. And I feel for that reason, it is a very blessed tree. We're planting 245 uh, olive trees today. Had anybody said a year ago that we would be looking at an olive orchard, I thought, what? <laughs> we didn't realize what a godly thing this was when we got into it, but everywhere we turned, there were miracles happening. 
and all the people that helped us make this dream come true today. It, it's a, the olive tree is a biblical tree. It's, it's symbols of peace and love, and it all fit in together. It was really thrilling to find it happen this way. Olive trees are wonderful. To enjoy the fruit of olive trees, personally, physically, to, to eat them, and financially to benefit Mission Road, it's just a wonderful exercise. And I'm looking out at about 40 people planting trees right now, and everybody's got a smile on their face on this beautiful morning. It just could not be a, a better circumstance for Mission Road. It's just been an experience that I never expected to have. It means a lot to me. This was a God thing from the very beginning, and how it's developed with all of us uh, through our talents and our friendships and uh, the people that we know and the God that we love, that there's it's been a real purposeful event. And that it's, it's not one of those that's gonna go away, but our heart is gonna be with it forever. We hope that we can use this film to uh, encourage others to come out here and see it for themselves. We're not trying to preach, we're just trying to give.